Hello everyone and welcome to my operating system practicals series of video lectures. This is going to be our first video lecture and we will understand some things which we will require before starting our operating system practicals. So the first thing you require is Turbosy setup on your device. Make sure you go through your computer's properties in terms of what Windows operating system is installed on your device. Also check for the operating system system type, which is whether it is 64-bit or 32-bit and make sure you install your Turbo C setup from any enterprise accordingly. So for my device, the system configuration is Windows 7 Ultimate. The operating system is Windows 7 Ultimate. It is a 64-bit operating system and I have already installed Turbo C setup on my device. So before directly getting started with our program, the code, and what type of programming we are going to perform for operating system practicals. Let us go through some menus which we are going to require for this year's practical. So we all are familiar to Turbo C setup, its IDE, its environment, but still there are some things which uh, we are definitely going to perform for every program for execution of every program. So the first thing which you should note and observe is that uh, every menu name, every name's first letter is uh, highlighted with some other color, which is red. So this itself is a shortcut for you that if you press the Alt and the first letter of your menu, like I just pressed Alt key and with combination Alt and F, the file drop down opened. Similarly, if you press Alt and maybe P, the first letter of project menu tab, it opens. So this is just a shortcut key. I'm explaining you the shortcuts because you might have noticed as well that after one or two compilations, after we compile one or two program, our mouse doesn't work. So that is not exactly a big problem, but if it happens uh, while your uh, execution of program, don't get confused or get struck. This is going to take you closer to the shortcuts. In fact, you can get uh, your hands perfect on the keypad and uh, learn some new shortcuts. So one more shortcut to switch to uh, menu tab is Alt and F10. So when you press Alt and F10, or you can say, the menu tab opens. So there are some shortcuts, similar shortcuts, which you can perform. One more thing is directly pressing the F10 key. Uh, in the case of a laptop, if you're using a laptop, make sure you use your function key and the upper F1 to F12 keys, any one from the combination, and you can switch to the menu tab. So the one more thing uh, is this drop down is giving us repaint desktop tab, or you can see an option. If you click this option, even that is going to help you to get your mouse back but this is not a, a big problem, a big deal, uh, or maybe a sort of problem in our compilation or, or doing practicals of operating system. All you need to know is the options, which I'm going to tell you now. The very first thing which you should do is open your Turbo C setup, create or take a new file, write down your code. Right now, I'm just going to pick a small code just for checking. Okay, so I'll include both the header files. I'm 
just a small program our main function simply just a printf with the popular statement which is hello world just checking how this setup is working and once we get into the perfection we'll directly start our operating system practicals so i think that's enough for my code i'll just save this file as some other name maybe hello one dot c do not forget to keep your extensions correct it is compiled so the shortcut key for the compilation is alt f9 it is having one error okay hash include std i missed out the spelling std io.h okay fine let us save my program and run it again zero errors okay so it's working this is not a problem this is the basic thing which we usually do in c programs we write our code we just compile it and just run it this is the execution and we get the output window but this year for operating system programs what we are going to do is we are going to perform some different functions the first thing which we will do is we'll definitely compile our code we all know that compile option helps us to check errors and create the main uh, you can say function of compile option is first thing is just to check if our code contains any error just which we just got one error and we removed it so after compilation it creates an object file which is of extension dot obj this file is important for further compilation of our program so this option creates a dot obj file you have to click this option and make sure that you run it the next thing you do is you 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 need to use the option make which has a shortcut f9 so this make option is going to again compile and link all those files which are related to the last build that means it is going to link only those files that have changed since the last build since the last compilation uh, creates one object file it is going to link that object file with our code the next option you need to perform is link this option is going to just link all the object files together if it is creating some extra files it is going to link them together and the last option is build all this option is going to go through the files listed in the project related files which it creates while compilation compile them and link them together as one object file so these are the steps we need to perform the first thing we are going to do is open our turbo c setup write down the code after writing the code compile it check for any errors if we get some error remove it the next option you are going to do is make then you'll get a window click outside the next option you're going to perform is link and lastly you're going to perform build all after doing this compilation process we are going to switch to dos shell now for this year's operating system practicals we are not going to do something different but something related to the previous knowledge which is we all are familiar to disk operating system internal commands and as we are trying to uh, find or learn the working of how exactly an operating system might be working what is the code or logic behind the operating system how does it work so what we are going to do is we are going to implement disk operating system that is dos internal commands through our c programs so instead of switching out from turbo c and find our command prompt uh, outside 
the turbo c itself has dos shell i'll just quickly show you this this is the dos shell where you can actually run your uh, command prompt dos commands like for example i'm just running make directory or mkdir command of dos and linux respectively the md command is used to create a directory i'll be creating my first directory of assignment one i'll change my directory by using cd command assignment one so yes this is uh, the directory which has changed its location so it is working i can run every dos command on our turbo c dos shell to exit or come out of this dos shell type exit and press enter you'll come back to our main program section so while we are performing these c programs which are going to implement dos commands there is a or you can say not a problem there nothing like problem everything comes with a solution so there is nothing like problem kind of a thing i can say just simply that uh, there is a thing sometimes it is difficult to find the location let us locate our program i have saved it as h e l l o hello one dot c uh, right now i am not familiar to where exactly my setup is saving my program so i'll just quit quit my turbo so we we'll just minimize it let us find our file I'll open my computer. Usually, all the setups installed run on C C drive. So, these are the two basic uh, we can say um, locations where our setups get installed. But Turbo C has created its own folder here. We'll open the disk Turbo C three. Yes, and this is the location bin. B I N bin. So let us find our program. My program was hello one. I can see a C file created here. Yes, exactly. I can see a B A K file created here, and I can also check that the files are linked. So all the files are together. So there might be some linking behind. the one more thing you you should remember while doing operating system practicals is one option is create a folder of your roll number or your name or something which is short and rememberable you you should remember and recall it so make sure you keep smaller names and roll numbers will definitely help and in this location inside this folder you can create your c files the second option and i think the easiest one is directly keep your file to the this location which is turbo c3 bin so directly keep it inside the bin folder and once you think the program the file is executed and it is error free and is giving output as expected you can copy paste it to your folder or directly cut paste it to your folder it is not going to create any harm Uh, the the easiest one is directly keeping your file to turbo c3 bin because we are implementing operating system in operating system practicals the dos commands and uh, after we are switching after some some assignments we will definitely switch to file handling programs so sometimes i am not saying that it, every time this is the case sometimes it becomes a problem to locate files our c exe doesn't locate uh, some related file so uh, in that case it is a safer site to keep our programs to the location of bin otherwise the best option is creating a folder of your choice and keeping all the files inside so we have at least found the location where the programs are getting saved these are some things which you should know before uh, actually starting or performing our c program so in today's this lecture i think this is enough as an introduction where we went through the menus all the menus and uh, 
the three four steps which we are going to perform one problem which arises in front of you is the mouse doesn't work which is not exactly a problem this will take you closer to the shortcut keys which are the function key alt key alt function together and the uh, simple thing to switch on to menu is the function key on your laptop if you're using a laptop if you we are working on a computer on a personal computer you can directly uh, click the f10 key and you will switch to the menu section so for this lecture i think this much is enough and uh, go through the do not forget to go through the next lecture where we will actually understand the first assignment of operating system which is we are going to implement the md command of dos which is the make directory command of dos do not forget to leave comments under this lecture so that i get some feedback and then improve and i get some closer some 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 bits closer to what you expect from this video lecture series thank you